Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a very special program from the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Since opening in 1955, the Academy is truly a citadel for the pursuit of excellence, training leaders for tomorrow in every area of life. Precision and discipline are the daily menu of the cadets at the Air Force Academy. Right at the foot of the mountains on the edge of Colorado Springs, the weather can change from beautiful warm summers to freezing winters. But no matter what, whether rain or shine, snow or fog, the drills, marches, and noonday formations always take place. The honor code of the Air Force Academy reads, we will not lie, steal, or cheat, nor tolerate among us anyone who does. Moral, ethical, and spiritual goals and ideals are stressed daily here at the Academy. 
Not only are there Sunday services, but there are also weekly services held from 6.55 in the morning to 7.20, where an average of 200 cadets attend. Not only are the services held, but every day in all 40 squadrons, there are prayer services held where the cadets pray for the entire wing, which consists of over 4,000 cadets. Every year, over 60,000 high school graduates show an interest in attending the United States Air Force Academy. That number is reduced to 12,000 who actually meet the requirements. And then finally, only 1,400 are actually chosen to attend. Today we have two of those honored cadets with us who have been chosen. Cheryl Lawyer and Mike Contrada. Welcome to the Joy of Music. It must be a very great honor, or you must feel as if it is a very great honor to attend the Academy. Can you tell me, Cheryl, how you felt when you found out that you were actually chosen? I was overjoyed. And Mike, how about you? Ma'am, I'd say it was one of the happiest moments of my life. Uh, it was announced at uh, a scholarship uh, activity at my high school in front of the whole student body. And I felt very good. Cheryl, why did you want to attend the Academy? Was there something special here for you? Basically, I just wanted to fly, and this, I figured this was the best place to come. And Mike, how about you? There were two big factors. Uh, I want to become an astronaut someday, so this was a logical choice, and also I was a recruited athlete. Mike, how did you get interested in wanting to become an astronaut? Ever since I was a little child, I've always just, space has captured my imagination. Uh, I've always read about it, and uh, just to get up in space and experience uh, looking down at the Earth as a whole, knowing that, you know, that's, that's where you live. And it, to me, it would just seem to be a great, a great honor and a, a great achievement. Cheryl, what are your plans after you leave the Academy? I plan on going to undergraduate pilot training and flying for the Air Force. Are there a lot of women pilots? There aren't a lot, but there are quite a few women pilots now in the Air Force, uh, and there are more on the way. Are you often teased by the guys? It, it can be really hard sometimes. It's, it's very frustrating at times being a minority or being one of the few, but for the most part, it's not too bad. Do the guys ever tease you or? or oh yes, they, they tease all the time, but it's a matter of just being able to take it and laugh with them and tease them right back. Mike, I don't know about your hometown, but I know here at the Academy at Colorado Springs, there are beautiful mountains as a backdrop. Do they have any special meaning for you? I, I came from a very uh, a small town, and it was very uh, a woodsy ce uh, scenery. And so when I came, I came to Colorado, it was my first time, and, and the mountains kind of threw me off at first. But now it's, uh, it's inspiring. You wake up in the morning, you see the mountains, and you see the chapel at the base of the mountains. And, uh, it kind of, it does humble you and it put, puts things into perspective. And how about you, Cheryl? I think one of the most beautiful times of day here is the sunrise. And, and I know I've seen quite a few and I, it never ceases to amaze me how beautiful they are. It's just really inspiring. I feel that one of the most beautiful landmarks here at the Academy is the chapel. How do you feel about worship services in the chapel and attending those? I get about two feelings, and it depends on the situation. Sometimes I go in there, and I'm so awed by the, by the majesty of it, the, the space and the beauty of it, and I'm almost humbled by it, that, how, how, how large that is and how small I really am. And other times I go there feeling really down and 
and out, and I'm uplifted. I feel so much better when I leave. Mike, what do the services and the chapel mean to you? Oh, they mean a great deal to me. They're very uplifting, um, especially on a Sunday when you know that you're going to have to go to class on Monday. The next day. Yes, ma'am. It, it helps to get that uh, spiritual uplift uh, face, face the next week. And also by participating in the choir, it, it's a good feeling to know that uh, you might have helped help the service in any way in uh, uh, passing the, the Word of God. I understand that you hold a special honor in the choir. What is that? Yes, I'm president of the Protestant choir here right now. And what does the Protestant choir do? Do they sing in all of the services? The Protestant choir participates in all the, the chapel services here during the week, or I'm sorry, on Sundays. And then we also do some community services downtown. And once in a while, we travel throughout the nation and spread our goodwill. It's been a real pleasure, Cheryl and Mike, to have you today on the program. And I wish you God's blessing here at your days at the Academy and also in the years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The organ of the Air Force Academy Protestant Chapel is majestic in both sight and sound. Designed by Holcamp and built by the Moeller Organ Company, it contains 79 ranks, 67 stops, and 4,334 pipes. Crowning the structure are the large trumpets, which will herald many religious ceremonies over the years.
Here in the Air Force Academy Chapel, there is a pew which always remains empty. On the end of this pew, we read this scripture, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Those cadets who are awarded the honor of attending the Air Force Academy realize that someday they may face the possibility of giving up their lives for their country. Here in the Academy Chapel, this pew always remains empty in honor of the prisoners of war, those missing in action, and those who have been killed in action. A memorial candle is lighted daily in this empty pew as a constant reminder of these heroes. Once a year, a memorial service is held outside on the grounds of the Academy to honor these heroes of our country. Of course, life at the Academy would not be complete without the thrill of a football game. Found at every Academy game are the Falcon Birds, majestic and regal Academy mascots. Before the football game, we talked with the Falcon trainers. How have you trained them to fly and do they always come back? Uh, <laughs> they don't always come back. About uh, three weeks ago, we did have one that flew off. This bird right here flew off. This one flew off. Now, is this your bird, or is, can anyone use this bird? Any one of the falconers can handle any of the birds. Is this a training that takes place every day with the birds? Yes, we fly the birds every day after school. And the reason that they do come to the leather lure that we uh, toss to them is because of their attraction to food. Oh, you, you have to feed motivation. them, right? Yes. Oh, well. <laughs> the same way with other animals when you train them. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. It's very interesting. <laughs> Thank you.
In a visit to the Air Force Academy, a visitor is often reminded of wings and flying. High Flight is the favorite song of the Academy. Wings of Blue is the Academy's parachute unit. And a cadet's instruction in all forms of airmanship. The ascending chapel reaching heavenward reminds us of the truth of God's word, that no matter where we may go, on the earth or in the skies, that the Lord God Almighty is always present. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a special presentation from the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the program today. And we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.